Greetings fellow students, greetings Dr. Lighton Piri. My name is Abupe Kawe from Project 10, presenting question 2. The question was a grading normalizer application and the title of our project is a grading normalizer system. Here is a brief background. As we all know, the world is moving towards a digital age. Various computer scientists day by day are coming up with ways of making life more convenient more easy, faster, and more accessible. This is no exception when it comes to education system, which faces a lot of challenges when it comes to grading and the location of grades. And the University of Zambia is no exception to such problems. The University of Zambia encounters many problems related to management of course, lect courses, lectures, and grades. They need a lot of time to capture huge amounts of data using MS, Excel, which is so difficult to use as we all know through EDU 1020, where the user has to memorize the feature and the tools, which can be strenuous upon the lecturers who have different types of schedules. And it is not easy, and they can result into various areas, errors, sorry, which may cause delays in the operation and the allocation of grades. Therefore, this work was designed to provide a solution that can solve such problems. To achieve our research, we sought to the prototype model that allowed us to address the various stages of the creation of software so that the system will enable schools to record the information, manage lectures and courses effectively. The context. Therefore, a prototyping model has been made to develop an application. The prototyping model is a technique that quickly builds a function and the complete model for the information system. The stages involved in this are the requirements and gathering stage, quick design stage, build prototype, refining prototype, implement the product, and maintaining the prototype. Thank you for your attention. Here's to the next speaker, Alice Mbewe. Hello, my name is Alice Mbewe. I'm going to present on the main papers of the grading normalizer system. So the main purpose of a grading normalizer system is that it will provide a good way and an easy way to manage the delivery of courses. This, is, this system will enable students to specify the type or category of anomaly or error or queries. Students will be required to give information as student ID, name, course upload screen, script, then send an email notification to the lecturer or tutors when Queries have been submitted. A link will be made available on Moodle to verify student concerns or problems. Additionally, students are required to install and configure Moodle or Moodle API plugin development. This system will provide a solution to some problems in school for course planning and evaluation of lecturer in a given time. The system will also ensure security. The system will be accurate in the dissemination of information and collection tasks. The system will be will reduce perceived teacher bias. Hello everyone, Kalima speaking, Kalima Katima. Um, I'm now going to present on the specific ideas of our project. So um, our project was related to ShopBuy, which is a platform that uh, combines all insertion tools for assignments, communication, and feedback. And uh, we all know that uh, normalizing of grades uh, will compensate for errors and get a constant result. Um, this simply means that uh, you know when we, when we normalize grade, we are trying to compensate for errors. A simple way of doing this is to subtract the mean and then divide by the standard deviation. The results should then be shifted to the desired mean GPA and scale to the desired range. So um, to develop a web-based application like this one, of course, uh, delivery uh, of, uh, to a web-based application, of course, delivery management system. It will be necessary to use two types of methodology known as a research methodology and software engineering methodology. So to come to that, um, we have used the prototype model, a prototype model uh, to develop this application. Uh, the prototype model is simply a technique 
for quickly building a function but incomplete model of uh, information system. So um, our, our system will have um, different parts uh, which enables you to input and some which enables to store file and some which enables to output. So uh, some of the process that will be associated with our project, the process are adding courses, registering uh, teachers, uh, section registration and so forth and so, and so forth and so on. Some of the system um, outline are that uh, the, the system will have an input which requests for adding courses, request for registering students and other many more functions and the file of course which enables to store course files, lecture files, class files, system and the output where you are able to which shows you all the courses and shows all students registered to it. To a, to a specific course so like uh, the way my friends had explained so this this uh, application is a plugin to a Moodle application which is used by the University of Zambia and will be used to compensate for errors in terms of grades in conclusion the main objective of this study is to provide solutions uh, solutions to the problem that the University of Zambia like managing of lecturers courses and students. Therefore, the main objective of the grading normalizer is to compensate for errors and ensure security and lessen teacher bias, teacher biasness. The objective will be successfully achieved with a practical solution using the prototype model. Thank you for your attention.